Good Morning Britain fans have demanded that Susanna Reid and Ed Balls apologize to Nigel Farage after they challenged him for being irresponsible and dangerous, for suggesting authorities were withholding the truth about the Southport attacks. During his appearance earlier this month, Susanna said, You suggested, in a video, that police withheld the truth about the person alleged to be behind this tragedy. Let's bear in mind that there is a legal process going on we don't want to compromise, Mr. Farage interjected. We always hide behind that. Ms. Reed shot back. That's the rule of law in this country, that we don't compromise someone's fair trial and allow the families of those who have suffered to hear the truth. The Reform UK leader then claimed senior legal figures were arguing that the government should have told the truth about the incident and that in general they hide behind this idea that a legal process means they are not able to be more open with the public. Today, the terror law watchdog has said the government and police should be more open about criminal investigations to avoid an information gap being filled by social media. Jonathan Hall Casey the independent reviewer of terrorism laws said the authorities should put all the information they can in the public domain amid claims of a cover-up over the Southport attacks. It was announced yesterday that Axel Rudakabana, the teenager accused of murdering three girls at a Taylor Swift-themed dance class in Southport, is facing additional charges of possessing ricin and an al-Qaeda document, Jonathan Hall told the BBC Radio 4 Today program. The government has to be aware, and will be aware that if there is an information gap, particularly in the mainstream media, then there are other voices, particularly in social media, who will try and fill it. Mr. Jenrick told Good Morning Britain, I want to know when the Prime Minister knew. We don't know that information. We don't know what the advice of the police was in this case. And we don't know why the police has chosen not to say this.